Hey, I'm Lucia Micarelli, and I am super excited to be returning to the Moscow Center for the Arts for a performance on March 16th. Uh, today, I will be answering some questions that you all submitted. Uh, I hope I don't get stumped. <laughs> First question is, you are a triple threat. From violin to singing to acting, you've mastered a broad range of skills. That's very nice. Um, are there any secret skills or hobbies that you do for fun that we don't know about? Uh, I hike a lot. Um, I love to cook. I am pretty into astrology. I could read your tarot cards. I can swallow a lot of vitamins at once. <laughs> Um, that's pretty much all I got. You were a musical prodigy accepted into Juilliard's pre-college division at the age of 11. What was it like training to be a musician at such a young age? What were the pressures? What were the joys? And what advice would you give to now adult child prodigies and parents of child prodigies? Um, what was it like training at such a young age? I mean, it was, it was intense, but it was also amazing. I mean, I think what the joys would be or what the joys were for me was just knowing what I wanted to do so young and having that kind of direction and focus and then having the privilege um, and the opportunity to study, <laughs> study with incredible teachers and study alongside other students who were also that directed and that focused, you know, that's pretty is pretty amazing to to find yourself in that just that kind of environment is definitely nurtures and fosters a lot of growth and and learning um but like i said it was intense i think some of the pressures i mean i feel like when you are in that kind of environment at a young age and i'm this applies to you know any anything that's sort of uh intense, <laughs> intensely focused on at a young age, it's kind of hard to avoid a competitive mindset. And that, you know, can be motivating, but can also be a little difficult to navigate when you're young. And, you know, it's questionable whether or not that's really the healthiest mindset to have, especially when you're pursuing something um, creative. But I, yeah, I would say that that was sort of the biggest pressure. What advice would I give to now adult child prodigies and parents of child prodigies? I mean, I would say for, you know, people who had been prodigies or had sort of pushed at something really hard when they were young, at least from my personal experience, it's good to remind yourself <laughs> on occasion or go on a journey to rediscover what it was about the thing that you initially loved and made you want to do it. Because sometimes getting caught up in that competitive mindset and, and just you, you become so focused that there's almost like a a myopia and sometimes it can mm, it can just get lost the sort of the whatever the organic pull was and the thing that just brought you so much joy and the natural mm, inclination toward the thing and it's good to to revisit that often and rekindle that um, and advice for parents of child prodigies um, of course, like support them and nurture their growth, but also like let them let them be kids, <laughs> you know, let them be kids and let them have their childhood because you only have it. Once. Next question is you play a very broad range of genres from classical to fiddle to jazz and rock. If you had to pick one genre to play for the rest of your life, what would it be and why? If I had to pick one genre, I would pick the genre that I have picked, which is just music that I like and think is good. <laughs> um, I, 
I honestly, I don't think about music as being all these different genres. I end up using that terminology because people still sort of process information with those words, but there's just music that moves me and that I really love and think is good and that can be a concerto or a jazz standard or a folk tune or a fiddle tune or you know any number of things and that's that's what I want to play and that's what I love to do so that is what I would do thanks so much for watching and again I'm going to be at the Musco Center for the Arts on March 16th I am so excited it's going to be a lot of fun come on out